Charges against a police officer accused of voluntary manslaughter will be dismissed. There will be no retrial after a jury's 8-4 to four split decision to acquit him. We're talking about Officer Randall Carrick. He shot and killed Florida A&M football player Jonathan Farrell in 2013. Farrell was in a car accident and went to a house to get help. The homeowner called police thinking someone was trying to break in. And police dash cam video shows him walking toward police and then running at them before he was shot. I want to bring in HLN legal analyst and defense attorney Joey Jackson to discuss this. Joey, good morning to you. You know, we have also learned it was eight jurors who voted to acquit the officer, four jurors that wanted to convict him, and that the prosecutor spoke to those jurors and said, we don't think we can get a guilty verdict here. What changed? Yeah, you know, I think what changes this, certainly the prosecution, they took their stab here at getting a conviction, and they felt that the officer's actions under these circumstances were unreasonable. That, of course, Farrell, the person who was shot, the deceased, had no weapon. That Farrell posed no danger. However, the jury could not really reach a finding on that. They were deadlocked. And as you mentioned, eight jurors said, you know what, the officer did act reasonably. The officer wasn't fear for his life. The officer engaged in no criminality. And then, of course, you had four who thought otherwise. And so I think what the prosecution is doing is saying, look, we don't think that a retrial would be in anyone's best interest. We put forth our best defense, our most, excuse me, our best case, our most vigorous prosecution here. And as a result of that, the jury was deadlocked. Doing it again may very well reach a similar conclusion. And so, therefore, there is no purpose in that we cannot get a conviction beyond a reasonable doubt. And I think that's what what they're predicating not moving forward on like. Nevertheless, Jonathan Farrell's family said they're not done with this. They plan to what they call seek justice, and they believe race was a factor in this. Now, is it possible that the feds could decide to prosecute on a civil rights violation? You know, Lynn, I think that's unlikely, and I only say that because of the standard. Remember, when we're, you're talking about a federal prosecution, you're talking about intent. You're talking about the intention to violate someone's civil rights on purpose, with animus, with ill will, with wickedness, with spite. That's what the federal government would have to show is in the officer's mind. In the event that a jury could not convict on voluntary manslaughter, which is a far less standard of demonstrating that the officer acted unreasonably, reasonably, I don't think a federal prosecution is likely. A mm -hmm. civil lawsuit by the family is more likely based upon a different standard. There, Lynn, you just have to establish that there was negligence involved, not that there was any criminality involved. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's what the family will pursue moving forward. Joey Jackson, always helpful. Thanks so much for being with us. You take care. Thank you, Lynn. Great weekend.